Hey everybody, my name is John Mapes. I'm here today doing some uh, play-along videos for Zildjian and Vic Firth. This is definitely the beginning track, so if you're just getting started, this is the place to be. I'm gonna work on a bunch of fundamentals today. Um, I wanna do more drumming than talking. That is my goal. It's gonna be a challenge. We'll see what happens. Um, but we gotta talk about a couple things, a few things that don't matter. It doesn't matter for traditional grip or match grip. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for flat or tilted. We're not getting into that. That's a whole other thing. Uh, just feels good for me, that's it. Um, but besides some of the obvious things, let's just make sure we talk about the grip before we get started. So the grip that I like to do, uh, we wanna stay away from being too tight, right? And also too loose. I don't want these finger, any fingers, just dangling around out here, really, right? I wanna use everything. Uh, and this basically forces us in init to initiate the wrist for most things we're doing which is super crucial. So we're gonna talk about a good amount as we go. That being said, let's find that middle ground. Seems obvious, but it's hard to find the middle ground, right? But your grip should not change too much while we're playing. This is like a major thing, especially a day one sort of thing. All right, so let's get cranking. So we're gonna start with some eight on a hand and we're gonna start short, short, long, super simple pattern. I'm gonna count you in. Here we go. So we're gonna play nice and strong, nice and full. Really stretch it out. The goal is every note, right? Every note should sound good. Sound the same. One more time. Nice and big. So pretty straight ahead, but important to be done right. So let's take it up just a little bit. You should already be feeling it if you're really using your wrist right now and keeping your grip consistent. Even just a couple reps in. Let's take it up 122. Here we go. Right, obviously we can keep going faster, so you can do that on your own. Keeping the men nice and chill right now to get us by. All right, moving on, let's talk about some taps, right? So, two high taps. Let's take it back down to 110. The main agenda here is two heights, one tempo, right? A strict two heights. So, it's all about the playing the low notes with the wrist. So they don't just get a, get away from yourself, right? There's no rebounds, so you kind of have to. And it's all about getting a nice full accent and having control on the notes after the accent. That's where most of our height and tempo problems come from pretty consistently. Something to keep, keep in your brains, yes? So here we go, it's a pretty simple pattern. I'll play it one time. You'll be able to catch on no problem. And high and low. Could go either way. So simple pattern. Run and down makes little groupies of twos and threes, right? Alright, everyone's in. Everyone being just you. <laughs> One, two. One 
Acha. So, feels very slow, it's very easy to rush. I'm trying to keep the metal a little soft so that uh, when we're drumming along, we can actually be playing together and not just with a loud metronome, right? Um, but you can even hear a couple couple spots, I get a little bit of head in there. I could edit that out, but I won't. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take it a little bit faster. Feels a lot better right here. Here we go, same thing. Cool. Super important one. I recommend definitely playing that in a mirror. You can really fix so much on your own before you even have to get in front of a teacher, right? All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about double beat. Double beat's super important, obviously. It's in a nice succession here of things we're doing. Um, we really wanna focus on really turning the wrist for every single note. So whether it's a grouping of two or a grouping of three, the wrist should be in control. We should not be just playing. That's almost like a completely different skill. Right now we wanna build up the muscles. We wanna, I keep saying the word control, but it's that important, right? So if we wanna play, that's just a different skill. We're not even gonna talk about that right now. That's gotta be medium to advanced, right? Um, so we're gonna start at 100, super slow tempo. Gotta love it, gotta want it. Here we go. I'll play it one time, short, short, long. So pretty simple pattern. Everyone should be down now. Everyone should be ready to go. One, two. It's no joke, it's just so much control, it's wild. All right, let's take it up. It just feels way better, but you gotta earn it. You gotta start at the 110, right? Let's do some 112.
next up is stick control. Super important exercise. Nobody likes to work on it. I feel like nobody does work on it. And it's very telling in auditions, right? But it's super important. So we're just going for a very even sound. And it's all about tempo. I'm trying to blend every note, right? So we're going to start with another super slow tempo. These are the same tempos as double beat. It's a very similar skill set, so we'll sometimes combine these with the high school. So I want to play a simple pattern. Piano first, then we're going to play it at a forte. Fours, and then twos. Super simple, everyone's in. Takes a lot of control, right? Now we're gonna play all fours here without getting too wild. Here we go. One, two. Once again, hard at the slow tempo, but crazy important. Let's take it up a little bit. We'll play the piano again. Here we go. One, two. One, two. Next up, we're going to talk about paradiddles. So before we just jump in and start playing a bunch of patterns, like those, that's not super helpful, right? So I would like to start with just focusing on sort of getting our tap sound dialed in and then focusing on just playing right hand paradiddle diddles and left hand paradiddle diddles. It's a great way to start really focusing on timing and sound and all those things. So I'm going to talk through this, but basically I'm going to play all taps with just diddles. Try to use as much sound as I can without playing too high. Uh, then we're going to play taps and paradiddles. Paradiddle diddles low, no accents. Then right hand, right hand paradiddles, left hand accents, left hand paradiddle diddles. Here we go. Should be pretty simple. It's all in three. I'm going to play it one time so we all know what's going on. Diddle diddles. So pretty simple. 
simple pattern, but as per usual, not simple to play. Everybody's in. Here we go. One, two. So obviously we can take that faster, but just that alone is quite a bit of work right there. So that's 160. Um, I'm going to suggest also, it turns out most people can't are not great at this skill, which is very surprising. It's so important um, to get in the two heights and the parallel diddles happening, right? So I would suggest we could also practice. Right, left. So you could add that to the thing or you could work on it on its own, but so many people seem to have such a problem with just that isolated skill. So I'm gonna throw that in there as well. Something to think about, yeah? Last but not least, we're gonna talk about rolls. So instead of just jumping in and playing a bunch of rolls, we're going to isolate all the diddles. We'll do this kind of based off the grid. So let's do four counts check and then just diddling on the beat. So one, check, then E, then check, then and, then check, and then uh, four counts. Then we'll do, break it down to two counts. Check, diddle, check, diddle. Then we'll do a four count check and we'll play it all combined. Right, so it'll make more sense in a second. Let me just play it. That's the basic breakdown. The idea is it's all about hand speed. So good luck if you think you got it the first time. Here we go. One, two. Makes sense. Hopefully everyone has it. Here we go, all aboard. One, two.
So it's all about tempo and sound, hand speed, right? So once we get there and we're feeling pretty good, and I feel like we can play a little bit of old school hugga dugga burr, right? So one, 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 two, two. So super straight ahead. Join me, one, two. So, if you've made it this far, you are ready to graduate to the intermediate level. But in all seriousness, here's the real breakdown. The real deal is that all levels should be really playing this video. Um, it's just not as easy as it looks, all right? So here's the thing, I don't really practice anymore. I'm doing my thing. But uh, these things, I have, I have to really struggle and work through these to make sure it's right, you know? So if I have to do that, I would assume that most students need to do that. So that's the real deal secret sauce right there. So hopefully this was fun. I had a good time hanging out here. See how this all comes together. Uh, next up, slide over to the intermediate stuff for kind of the same concepts, but just the next level up. So see you over there. <laughs>